Well, hello my friends and welcome to another Sawmill Adventure. Well, it's a beautiful fall day and today we are going to uh, cut up some cedar. Yes sir, I need some cedar for the trim in my house. And uh, so that's, that's today's mission. Ah, uh, yes, the LX-55. <laughs> it's been a, a good habit to uh, release this, the tension on this, this blade when, when it's not in use. And uh, so we're just gonna go over the little procedure of getting that tightened right back up again so that we can mill some lumber. All right, so we have our uh, ratchet tensioner and we just put that Right on the uh, the tensioning bolt, and is there a there's a, a marker notch right here? This is our guide. We need to line up that tab. Oh and yeah. Groove. So All right. So there's that little groove there. It goes dead center on the groove, and then we're good to go. We'd already previously calibrated everything, so it should be just a matter of you know release the tension or add the tension. Okay. Next step is to release the pins. Release the pins. All right, well, I'm just gonna adjust this log, flip it over. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll take one more cut off of it. Just gotta make sure that I'm not gonna run into these. That is a blade wrecker for sure. Okay, now we're safe. So we have a handy dandy gauge here. This is our friend. This helps us to uh, keep all our sizes uh, in order. And I'm doing uh, one inch. So at this four mark, I'm just dropping it each time. So once you've squared off the uh, the timber, you can get rid of this and just hook straight in on that little grasp there. And there we have it, ready for another go.
doing a quick double check here, make sure not we're gonna run into any of these guides here. Looks like we got lots of room yet. So uh, once you're squared off, you can actually get a little bit more depth by putting that right down there at the bottom. Dirty. That's good. Make sure this is down. And so you can quite literally then get right down to the last inch. So we're looking good. All right. Well, I got the strapping done for my buddy John. Got a bunch of uh, live edge cut here for baseboard. And I'm going to shut everything down. Let's see if I remember the procedures here. <laughs> well, it is cold at night time, so this water reservoir will empty that. They say if you put antifreeze in it, then it'll keep it from freezing up, but we're just going to empty it, refill next time. There we are. All right, so we got our pins here. What we're going to do is just uh, edge this up. How far up does it go, Ryan, for the pins? Quite a ways. Quite a ways. Yeah, so we're just winding this up. This one's childproof. <laughs> All right, drop it down to the pin. There we go. That's good. Now the next step would be to detension the blade. Eh? All right, so the handy dandy ratchet holder. And this we put on here. So how far do you loosen it there? Just so you can feel the tension come off. Yeah, just basically till that's loose and sloppy on this All side right. of the groove. That's good enough. All right, perfect. All right. Whoa. Guess we take a moment and clean this out. Do you have a brush by any chance? Whenever you see the sawdust start falling back on this side, oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah, stop and right. plug that. That's why this is so full. Yeah, because the chute's been plugged for a long time. Right. Yeah. So that's okay. why that's there should be no dust in here at all, really. It should just shoot on it right the out there. Yeah, that should all be. So once you see it stop flying out the chute, and yep. it starts falling. There's grills in here. Yeah. And it starts falling out the grills and coming out here. Yeah. That's a no-no. You're already past the point of should have cleaned it out. Yeah. 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 So okay. Well, we've learned. Lesson to be learned. Yeah. So many things to be mindful of. <laughs> That's the ticket. Yeah. We got these loaded up on the tractor. We're going to take them over to the planer and plane them down. Now would you look at this. What a beautiful tractor. It's a Massey Harris, 1956. Oh yeah, she's a beauty. Imagine that, eh? Built in 1956 and the year is 2022. You just can't beat this. Nice restoration job on it too. Nice. There's a hitch and 
PTO. The sun is setting on the LX-55. What a great day.